Hey guys, <laughs> this is Pinky the Hunter, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on the waterfowl in this game. It is a good way to make money, well, one of them is the best, but it's very expensive to buy a complete setup. As you can see, this is about what you need, and one of those, and some colors, so that will be, yeah, a lot of money. I think it's over 50,000 gems. To buy a complete setup like this and the ducks even use more decoys so yeah the Canada goose these ones on Hirschfelden and the magpie goose on Pickabeen Bay are the cheapest to buy in as a setup complete setup but yeah this will be a tutorial about the waterfowl so let's do it Hey guys, first here we're in the store and I want to show you something. The colors for the Canada Goose. You got a long range collar and a short range collar. And you also got a Canada Goose flag lure. If I'm correct, the long range uh, collar and the flag lure have exactly the same effect. Only there's one thing about them. If you have, uh, for example, the long range collar and a friend of yours has the flag lure and you're hunting together so a multiplayer and you yeah use them both at the same time according to wiki the effect is doubled so that's something nice to know but when you're hunting alone you need or this one or this one and this one to get them up close and then we also got the decoys there's a lot of decoys like I said the magpie goose for pickabeen bay there's these with the wings, but more about that later. There's all the duck decoys, all the species, and turkey decoys, and the Canada goose decoys. These three, they look different, but they have the same effect. And as you read their story, um, the max attraction you can get with a setup is 24 decoys so my aim when I build a setup is buy 24 decoys and set it up you can put up to 200 decoys in each reserve at each time but yeah like I said 24 is enough for these guys for the Canada goose and for the magpie goose but when you read for example the mallets mallets are a bit of a different stories on Rugaru Baju, you can uh, do duck hunt and you have four different species of ducks. The, oh, this is not the mallet by the way, American black duck. Uh, Pintail, where's the mallet? Ah, way down here. These guys, it's a bit of a different story. When you look at the decoy, for example, the, yeah, the Godwell, it's the same as the, as the goose. You need 24 decoys to have the max attraction for the Godwell at your setup. And these things have 100 meter radi radius by the way, so everything within 100 meters should see your decoys and yeah, get the attraction from 1 to 24, that's maximum. So, uh, But these guys also up to 24, but when you look at the mallets, and that's why I think you should only buy the mallet decoys. Uh, with the mallets you get the same thing the 24 gives the max attraction for mallets but other ducks so that's the other three species on this map one out of 48 so when you buy 48 of them you have the max attraction for all ducks including the mallets of course because that's double but I don't think you can go over the max attraction so 24 has the same attraction on mallets as 48 mallet decoys so but the other ducks, that's what it's all about. That's why I bought 48 of these decoys. Because in the end, that was cheaper than buying all the other free species. Because then I would buy, have to buy 24 of those. Or 12 and 12 mallets. But and 24 or 12 and 12 mallets of the pintails. And the same story with the American black ducks. So... I think the cheapest way to get your duck decoy set complete 
is by buying 48 mallet decoys but yeah that will cost you about 90 or 100 thousand gems including the the blind and stuff so this is the most expensive setup by the way and not the best due to money making so I would say keep this one for last and first go for the Canada Goose and the Magpie Goose especially the Magpie Goose but more on that later because those setups are half the price of the complete setup of the the duck setup you need so that's why and also with the ducks by the way one more thing you got a lot of callers you got a duck comeback caller that's a very good one actually I would recommend that one to buy that one first but you got a, a northern pintail long range caller you have a mallet short range caller a mallet long range caller and if I'm correct I missed one yeah get well short range caller so you need way more callers also for this one so this is by far the most expensive setup but not the best money maker so okay that was a little something about the callers and the decoys a little something I forgot um, the flapping wing decoys these decoys they cost more expensive but they have the effect of six normal decoys that's the only thing so you need four of these to get maximum attraction but when you buy six normal decoys you pay less gems than one of these flapping ones so yeah I bought the normal ones because that saves you some gems but they have the same effect only they replace six normal decoys so you could buy two of these and 12 normal ones for example then you also have 24 the max attraction so and those also are for the ducks and stuff you got uh, the northern pintail decoy the american black dog decoy the gadwall decoy all flappings and also the mallet and the goose of course but yeah they all have the same effect six out of 24 so they replace six normal decoys here we arrived at Hirschfelden at my setup <laughs> I put these in <laughs> perfect formation because this is a German map <laughs> and there these goose are the Germans so <laughs> my sunglasses on but yeah what you do now is you just wait in the blind until you hear some goose in the distance sometimes that can take quite some time so what I also recommend is what I used to do what I always do is I bring all the other callers too because sometimes you get very long periods of quiet and yeah all of a sudden you get a red deer call or something it's always nice that you can call it in then so I got the fox caller and the big squeal I think I got everything yeah so but main focus here are these two of course and also make sure you bring a weapon so that you can shoot uh, the fox or the red deer with that comes in I brought the recurve bow this time it's not the easiest choice but it's allowed to shoot every animal on this on this map so and what also happens a lot is when you start shooting goose the pheasants pheasants they always flee in a straight line in the which they're in the way they're facing so you have chance that when you shoot some goose that some pheasants come flying over you so keep an eye out for them too it's not uh, that important but I find it a fun yeah fun thing that you can shoot some pheasants once in a while and also what you can do is when it's quiet quiet for very long I got the pheasant caller on 8 so this is a locator caller if there are any pheasants in the area they should respond but 
there's no males in the area because only the males also they respond to the pheasant caller so the females they don't call any at all so uh, let's wait for a flock of goose Uh, there are two goose coming to geese, sorry. <laughs> and they blinked, so they broke. And they stopped calling now. I'm gonna let these two land so you can see what happens when you call them in. go they're landing one over there and one uh, lost it ah over there and now what you can do is you can just whistle and they fly off Here he comes. Again, miss. Damn. <laughs> that was some bad shooting. And there he is. Don't forget to reload your weapons all the time. It sucks when you pick your weapon, you start shooting, and after one shot, you start reloading. So. Let's pick it up. That's a decent one. 7.2. They don't give that much CSS as you can see. I think they go up to 35 or something. Maybe 40, but I'm not sure. To be honest, I haven't hunted them that much. I bought this setup and yeah, went to do some other things. <laughs> Back to waiting game. <laughs> Here we get a pheasant call. That's also something funny. I'll show you the pheasants right away. It's in the next field, so... Um, need that one, I think. Yeah. With the pheasants, also there's something. Most of the time they duck down. But even when they're not, you can... Yeah, the way, way they're facing, when they spook, that's the way they're flying, so... When you see, when they duck down, go right in front of them, about 100 meters, whistle... And he should fly right into you, so... And there he is. He's facing the other way. Mm -hmm. But when he's down, you can just run towards him. They will stay down. And let's find the front. So let's go in that corner there. <laughs> there he is. Somewhere. There he is. And then take the front. Pick up your weapon. And whistle. He flies perfectly in front of you, so... Nice. That's a fun distraction too, when you don't get much goose. <laughs> Four. Decent, but no monster. 
damn, on my way back from the pheasant I get some geese, so let's see if we can make them break. I have to be careful that I don't spook them right away. They come right overhead. There's another flock over there. Come on, break. And they're all not breaking. Never mind. <laughs> uh, only three. Now they broke. And you can also buy a dog, by the way. A retriever dog. But, yeah, it is funny to have, but I don't recommend it. Especially not when you're a new player. As you can see, you get quite some time between flocks most of the time. Huh, not a nice one. So, yeah, you have all the time in the world, I think, to pick up all your animals sometimes it can get a bit bit full when you get a very good spawn but yeah I don't really mind so buy the dog later when you have more equipment you really need in the game more important equipment well yeah I think that's it for this for this map, let's go to the next one. I think I'll do pick a bean bay next, the magpie goose. And the ducks are a bit different. I'll show the ducks in the end, so let's go to pick a bean. Okay guys, here we arrived at the swamp. I made a little change of plans. I wanted to do the magpies next, but I decided to do the ducks first. The, the magpies are actually the same as the Canada goose. What's that mallet called? It's on the ground. Are actually uh, the same as the Canada goose to hunt. I'll show them in the end because there is one thing different about them, and that's the money. They are the best money maker, and I think even one of the best money makers in the game. So, but I'll show that in the end. And yeah, these ducks. Mallets <laughs> tracking skill level up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll do these ducks first. Like you can see, I got 48 decoys around me. Well, like you can see, <laughs> believe me that there are 48 decoys around me. Mallet decoys, so I should have the max attraction for all species that fly over. Because the annoying thing about these mallets and other ducks is they mix in their flocks. So you can get a get wall on a few mallets. And so most of the time you get a lot of flocks that are all the same the same ducks but especially later in the hunt you get a lot of mixed mixed uh, flocks so and what you actually should do is listen to the sound they make when they come in you can hear the difference the pintails they have the whistling sound so 
let's see about this sound when you hear that you should use that one and otherwise a good one is this one because that's a comeback color for all species so if I would buy if I was a new player and I had no colors at all for the ducks and I should buy one I recommend this one because it attracts all species yeah <laughs> because it attracts all species <laughs> now let's wait for a flock of ducks and see what what it will be or some mallets on the ground over there Here comes a flock of ducks. I hear the whistling sound, so I know there's some pintails amongst them. So let's use that. I think they're all pintails by the looks of it. They're all pintails. Oh, there's one other one amongst them by the looks of it. second one from this side the comeback color it works better most of the time I have the idea so that's why I recommended that one in the beginning but these pin tin tails sometimes they break very late or they don't break at all And in this case, they don't break at all. But yeah, that's the sound of uh, the pintail. That's how you recognize the pintails. And by the way, this sound, the kind of Donald Duck laughing sound, is the sound that the Godwell make. When you hear that in a flock, you know it's Godwell. And they also come to this caller. The black, the black ducks do too, the mallets too only for the pintails at long range you need this one and this one works for all next time I'll just use this one and see if it works better some mallets I think and I hear a godwell yeah there's a godwell on the back I think let's try the comeback color <coughs> might be a bit far away so next time now there are two groups at the same time coming well coming I hear them those are coming right overhead nice and there are some Godwell amongst them I think they're all Godwell and these also come right overhead nice I can hear pintails, I can hear mallets, and I can hear godwell, so that's what I mean, they mix a lot. And it would be very funny if again they wouldn't break, but some of these should break, right? <laughs> Am I 
Am I inside the blind? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Ah well, at least I could show you the group mix, the group's mix, so... Better luck next time. Next group, and I hear Godwell again. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> uh, let's get the comeback caller. First this one maybe, then the comeback caller. Ah, some broke. And since these are Godwell according to me, you also have a Godwell short range caller. And it sounds like this. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> well, at least we got a duck. I wanted to show you that. The Godwell and the Pintail, they go up to 1400 grams. This is 1 kg. No, oh, it's okay. And the Black Ducks and the Mallets, they go up to 1600. 1599, if I'm correct. And these guys go 13.99. So yeah, I spoke to my friend Skakers earlier, and I think we're gonna hunt Pickabean Bay for a short time, and then after that I'll show you the harvest and I'll show you the difference in what they make in gems. These guys all go the Canada Goose and all the ducks. They go up to well, I think 40 CSS maximum, so 40 gems maximum when you get a real big one. And the magpie goose, I think they go up to 80, so it's double the money. Uh, maybe we can still make that. Let's give it one last shot. They come right overhead, so... Some broke. Give the other caller a try. And there got well again. Two more broke. Nice. Let's call this one. That's too far, I think, yeah. Still trying, idiot. <laughs> One bullet left in this package, no way. I don't like that, so... Let's blow that one away. And like said, let's go find my friend Skakers. And let's kill some magpie goose. What's this 1kg mallet? 14 CSS. But best tip when you're a new player is of course use the 12 gauge shotgun. The single shot isn't the ideal one but the pump action or something is perfect for this. Because those weapons, the 12 gauge ammo and the 243 ammo is all free in this game. You get free packages for free so you get 90 bullets per hunt for free. So that's the last thing you should, you should do. Now, see you guys back in Pickabean Bay with my friend Skakers, probably. That's a nice flock. Free broke already. 
Now probably some more I think. Four broke I mean. Now one more. Okay. Let's use this one. Oops. See if we can get a double shot. Nice. That's too far away. That was stupid. Double kill. Nice. Good thing I hung around for a few seconds. <laughs> gems about the same 16 gems you don't get really rich out of these so when you're a new player I recommend you wait with duck hunting a bit where's the last one I think I shot one more somewhere here it is one point three kg that's a better one but 26 gems so still no gold mine but now let's go to pick a bean bay for real <laughs> hey guys here we're back at pick a bean bay in very bad weather as you can hear and see oh wait <laughs> damn sunglasses again and we're waiting for my friend Skakers and there's one last thing I like to say about the Magpie Goose. They work exactly the same as as the Canada Goose, but only sometimes you get silent flocks. They fly overhead without making a single sound. That never happens with the Canada Goose and the ducks, but the Magpies sometimes do it. So keep that in mind. And now we'll be shooting Magpie Goose for some time. And then in the end of the video I'll harvest them all, we'll har harvest them all and then we'll see how many gems we'll get from that. This is a very good money maker, I make about 1000 gems I think by only harvesting in 40 minutes or something, 30 to 40 minutes. When you're lucky you can get way more so, I hear some already, I have no idea where, ah there. And what also nice with these guys, I think you can see the males and the females, you can see the, dif the difference in the air when they fly. I think they broke already. Um, the two in front look bigger, so... Let's see, this is always so hard. Only one damn. too far now well I'm not sure I said the two in front look bigger but I'm not sure to be honest but normally you can see the difference between males and females quite easily ah this is a male a nice one see 66 gems and there are more coming already so yeah this can be a very good money maker I noticed And again I got 24 decoys, so the max traction, I think that's what you should aim for at each setup. Ah, here we go. Four broke, and two look bigger, so I'll be going for those. Let's see, here they come. That one looked bigger and... Ah, damn, my mouse got stuck. Nice. That made up for it. <laughs> awesome. And don't forget... Ah, there's more. This can add up so quickly. One broke again. Oh 
Okay. Nice. That's another one. Let's harvest these. And then, like I said, I'm gonna hunt with Skakers for, well, half an hour or something here. And I think we'll leave everything on the ground. 3.7, another nice one. 70 gems. See, this can add up quite fast. Come on, give me the other one. That's a female. 11 gems. But still, compared to the ducks... 8, that's a very small one. There's one over there, there's two over here. <laughs> I can hear some more coming in. I think I'll just ignore that for now. Otherwise this video can take a very long time. 3.7. <laughs> it's another 70 gems. Very nice. I think I saw one more over here somewhere. Ah. Another nice male. <laughs> Let's see how fast that can add up. I made 313 gems already. Well, CSS, so about the same gems. Nice. But yeah, bring you guys back later. Hey guys, here we're back in Pickabean Bay. And I first started to hunt with Skakers and we were hunting for about 15 minutes and we had 10 maybe some more geese down and then my internet connection broke up. And it took quite a long time before it before I got it back, so yeah, and by the time I got back, Skakers was offline, so now I'm doing it alone. And this hunt, I started at 7 o'clock, and I have to be honest, it was a rather good spawn, because as you can see, <laughs> there are dead geese everywhere. So, and there are some more coming now, so let's see if we can get a few more. I can see one that's bigger, one or two, so... Like I said, you can spot what's one of the males. Oh. That was very bad shooting of me. Damn. Finally, I wanted that one. That was bad shooting, but... I think I'm gonna ignore the rest. And I'll show you what I mean with the money you make with these guys. Because that's insane. Now I got zero. Let's see how much I can get. Ooh. Like I said, I started at 7 o'clock, so that's about 20 minutes of hunting I did now. Nice, 60 gems. Female. Come on, there's one more. So as you can see, <laughs> this adds up really fast. Female. Hmm. It's another male. It's a female. Nice. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is one of the best money makers in the game, I think. Only disadvantage, of course, is you have to buy the entire setup first. And this one has 24 decoys, so it's, yeah, the max attraction. <laughs> nice, but this adds up really fast, so... Let's 
63. <laughs> That's almost a box of ammo per mail you shoot, so. I'm going a bit faster now. Mail 3.3. Email. Hmm. Better not go too fast, otherwise it glitches. <laughs> Another mail. Fifty-six gems. Nice. Ah, forgot some. It's good timing to go harvest, now it gets quiet all of a sudden. The first uh, 5 to 10 minutes of the hunt it was almost quiet, and after that all hell broke loose, they kept coming. <laughs> Another small male. Was that all? I think so. Let's check F3. I made uh, almost 800 gems during yeah, 20 minutes of hunting, so and without missions because I say this is the best money maker in the game for harvesting animals but truly the best money maker in the game of course is doing the missions and then doing your mission reset and you can do that over and over and over and you'll make hundreds of thousands of gems that way so yeah that's it for this video guys I, uh, I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you next time